Hello my dear friends so today we are going to solve the problem minimum number of deletions and insertions to transform one string to another perfect so the question will be like this there are two strings given string 1 and string 2 suppose string 1 is given as he and string 2 is given as p so what we need to do is our task is to remove or delete and insert the minimum number of characters from string 1 to transform into string 2. It could be possible that same character needs to be removed and deleted from one point and it need to be inserted into second point. Okay. So as you can see, first of all, we have heap. Okay. So we need to convert this into P. So first of all, what do we need to do? We need to delete the two elements. Okay. What are the two elements? H and P. Okay, if we delete two elements, so what will happen? It will be like this EA. And then what we need to do? Insert an element P. So it will be PEA. Okay, so if the position is not same, so they are going to be considered different. That is what it is told. That it is possible that same character need to be deleted from one point and added to the other point. So here, first of all, we need to delete this P and H. And then we have to insert this different P and H. So here how many deletions are there? Two deletions are there and one insertion are there. So we need we need to return how many possible minimum. Okay. So how many if they ask total you need to return the three. If they ask the number of deletion you need to return two. And they, if they ask number of insertion you need to return one. So it completely depends on the question. So I hope question is clear two strings will be given to us and they will say that we need to see the strings and we need to find the minimum number of deletions and minimum number of insertion so this is our ultimate task perfect so let us take one more example so things will get clear to you more clear to you okay suppose if the question is given like this geeks for geeks and we need to this is the string one and we need to convert into string two that is geeks perfect so as you can see this is and this is is common so it means what we need to do we need to remove this complete entire string okay for geeks so what will happen to move from here to here we need to do the deletion okay for what deletion we need to delete element for geeks so how many elements are there total eight elements are there okay so for the deletion what we have done eight after deleting the eight element what is left the left item was geeks okay so if we are going to observe here also geeks and here also geeks so after deletion geeks will be left okay now let us observe the thing more clearly fine so first we have seen the example of p and uh, heap and p right so how you will get what kind of things we have to do so if you observe the first example here it is string one here it is string two but if you are going to observe this item what is this this is the longest common subsequence okay ea is common in heap as well as in p perfect here also if you are going to observe geeks for geeks and geeks what is there here here is the longest common subsequence it means you got some idea that here longest common subsequence can be used so where we are going to use the longest common subsequence whenever you say to input to string input okay whenever you say to a string input so or in question if they directly ask you the lcs or if they ask you insertion deletion such types of thing then what you have to do you have to use the concept of lcs so how we are going to use the concept of lcs i will explain you clearly okay let us take again example of this heap p perfect so first of all what we have done we have deleted these two element and the one element was inserted was p fine so here we have done the deletion okay how many deletions are done? Two. Okay. And then what are the elements left? E and A. And after that, what we have done? We have done the insertion. 
and how many insertions are done one so what is this ea ea is the longest common subsequence so suppose if this is string one the length of string one is m okay for here it is four so and what is the length of longest common subsequence it is two so if you are going to subtract four minus two what you are going to get two so these are the deletion okay sorry if i written the spelling incorrect okay these are the deletions got it let's say this is string two the length of string two is n for our, in our case it is three and what is lcs lcs is two if you are going to subtract them three minus two what you are going to get one it means the number of insertion are one so we got one thing suppose if it is general case n so it is will be n minus lcs this is going to be the number of insertion and if we take the case of the deletion what will be the case it will be m minus lcs lcs so these are the number of deletions deletions and these are the number of insertions okay so in question if they ask you the total then you can add both of them deletion plus insertion so it will be like this 2 plus 1 3 perfect so i what i want to focus you is here we need to find the lcs if you will get the lcs then you can find the number of deletions and insertion so we need to find the length of lcs we don't want elements suppose if you got this 2 and if I ask you find the number of deletion, what you will say? For deletion, length minus LCS length. So M minus N. So it will be deletion. If I told you find me the number of insertions, what you are going to say? You are going to say it will be N minus LCS. Okay. So N is the length of second string minus longest common subsequence. So ultimately this question can be solved by the concept of longest common subsequence. So let us write the code. If you want to see how to write longest common subsequence, you can watch my previous videos as well. In this video, I will show you the DB approach to find the longest common subsequence. So I am using the Python syntax. So def LCS, what it will take in the input? It will take a string 1, string 2, M, N. Perfect. These are the things that we are going to take. So uh, let me show you how to write the dp solution so we have some steps to write the dp solution first of all create a matrix matrix creation okay then we have to initialize the matrix initialize matrix then we have to apply the condition and fill the rest of element apply condition and fill rest of element or you can write using choice diagram we need to fill the uh, entire dp and last step will be the return solution so these are the four steps to write it any kind of dp solution so first of all what we need to do we need to make a matrix so matrix will be of size the things which are changing so here the things are m plus 1 and n plus 1 okay this will be the size of dp so in python to start this what we are going to do we are going to write like this dp is equal to 0 for i in range of first of all we need to write columns that is n plus 1 then we need to write rows for j in range of m plus 1 perfect this is done this is we have made the matrix now what we need to do we need to initialize this matrix so how we are going to initialize the matrix i will tell you this side so suppose you have created a matrix okay uh, let's write the input and output so string one was a heap and string two was p so size is four and here size is three so we need to create a dp of four plus one and three plus one perfect so it will be three four plus one will be five and it will be four so we need to create like this one two three four and five and one two three four so it will be like this three zero one two three four fine so what you need to do you need to fill these elements so what this element tells 
so this is the string of y this is the string x so what this block tells us is that we have one element in the y it means string 2 it is string 2 this is string 1 so one element in string 2 and if we talk about uh, here it is 0 so string 1 we have 0 elements now if I ask you the same question can you find me the longest common subsequence between these two you are going to say 0 why because if there is no element common in, in both the strings so the longest common subsequence will be 0 okay if I told you so uh, suppose if we talk about this block so here two elements are there it means p and e and if in x there is no element then also it will be 0 0 similarly if we reverse the case if one element there is in p and this is empty let us talk about this block so again now if you are going to find the longest common subsequence it will be 0 so it so from here you got to know that we need to initialize this matrix by we need to initialize the first row and first column by ourselves so you got to know that we need to fill these rows and column by zero but what i have done in python i have done this by default i have started each and every element by a zero only because this is the syntax of python so i have written like this but if you are using other languages you need to fill this okay then we have done the initialization so i will also write the syntax for other language as well so then what we have to do we have to write for for i in range this is for columns then we need to write for rows for i in range of n plus one so if i equal to equal to zero or j equal to equal to zero then what we are going to do we are going to fill that dp with zero okay this is just the thing that we have discussed now okay else if what we have to do if the elements are matching if a string one element i minus one equal to equal to string two element j minus one if this condition satisfy so what we were doing we were adding one to the previous diagonally previous so i minus j dp of i comma j will be 1 plus dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 if you want to know how we got this condition please watch the longest common subsequence video okay so this we have done and if the elements are not matching so what we were doing we were taking the maximum so dp of i comma j it will be maximum of First of all, we need to go i minus 1 comma j or dp of i comma j minus 1. Okay, like this we will fill the entire matrix and at the end where we will get the solution? This. So what this block tells? A string to length is 3. So string 2 was PEA. So string 2 length is 3 and a string 1 length is 4. So what was the string 1? It was heap. So dp is nothing but breaking your this complex problem to small small problems and observe some pattern and then write this one okay. So dp is nothing but breaking your this complex problem into small small problems and then observing the pattern and then writing the solution. So heap and p this is our so where we will get our solution in the last element of the matrix. So what you need to return dp of n comma m perfect this you are going to return sorry it will be m comma n last element but if you get confused in python you can write like this it will be very easier so this is the uh, thing to find the lcs so we have find the lcs but ultimately the question was find the minimum insertion and deletion so let us create one more function fine so let us create one more function dev min ins minimum insertion and minimum deletion this is the function name what it will take both the strings so let us say m is equal to the length of first string and n is equal to the length of second string so if i tell you let us call the final length 
of LCS is let us call this function LCS it will give and passing the value string 1 string 2 m n n so he in this variable length we will get the long LCS length longest common subsequence length then what we will do we will print like this so print uh, let us write minimum insertion will be so first write deletion okay so minimum deletion deletion will be and then we need to write what we need to write m minus length m minus length perfect and then in next line minimum insertion will be insertion will be n minus length will be n minus length it is nothing but the syntax to write the string and numbers together perfect so here we will get the both the things and if you want total then what you can do you can return like this uh, it will be m plus n minus 2 times of lcs okay the total number of insertion and deletion if i ask you directly so this was our example p and heap so it length is 3 this length is 4 LCS length was 2 so if they ask you what are the minimum total number of insertion and deletion so what we were doing we were uh, these two will be deletion and these two will be insertion so it was like this m minus LCS plus n minus LCS so if you are going to combine these two so it will become two like this so this is what I have written m plus n minus 2 times of LCS so it will be like this 3 plus 4 minus 2 into 2 so 7 minus 4 answer will be 3 and we also know that there are 3 insertions done because it was like this heap it was p so we deleted these two element okay then we have inserted this p so 2 deletion 1 insertion 3 and from here in this formula also we are getting the answer as 3 so i hope my question is clear to you and if you like this video you can tell me in the comment section if i have done any mistake please let me know in the comment section and watch the entire series of the dynamic programming you will get the concept okay thank you